So I'll, I'll put the rate a bit low. Select emitter. And now these particles, I won't make them collide. Disable collisions, self collide at least. And then I'll meet particles from the particles. So I'll go and earn particles, create par n particles, and then emit from object. Uh, Omni. Create. Let's lower the rate. You see, there's another emitter, emitter 2. And the rate is a bit too high. It slows it down. Emitter 2. Let's make it 10. And let's uh, change those particles' uh, shading, note, shading mode into... Mm. Points. points are good. And make it bigger a bit. Make it larger, point size. Yeah, so we can see what's going on here. So now, if we select those particles, If we go, oh, is that yeah? Select the particles in, and we apply force field thickness relative. See what happens? They push. They create. They generate force, and they push the big particles. The particles they emitted from just push them all the way around. Is that awesome? Yeah, okay, and then we'll kill them early. So they just throw out. So we have all kind of fireworks here. And I hope you guys follow me. Okay. What else we have? Uh, particles collisions, force field generation, let's put it off. Rotation. Wind field, it's a, wind field is basically, it's what, I mean, it, it affects the end cloth. So, I can show you that. I'll do that later, if I have time. Let's go. I want to. I want to go to get to end cloth, and then we have fluids as well. Okay, and then we have shading, so it's pretty much the same. Besides, we have output mesh. We we already saw that. that that's how we create the liquid simulation. We have liquid simulation too. That's where the we can affect you know change the density and, and incompressibility and make a. Viscous make it look like honey or water or blood. That's a liquid simulation, and is a there's also viscosity scale, so you're gonna you can mix it with all kind of fluids. There's lots of options. So output mesh we already touched that. That's how we created our surface water surface, caching. Ca okay, caching attributes. Yeah, the same thing when you uh, when you create when you finish creating a simulation. You make a create new cache, and I'll do, I'll go over it with Encloth as well. It's about the same, so it's better to have it cache frame. You see, it's better to do it one file per frame because because there's a there's a size limit in a Windows system or also with Maya. So you better cache it per frame, and also you can if, when you cache it per frame, you can manipulate it. You can you can rotate. You can reverse your cache, for example, after you because so, sometimes you do backward. You do things backward in order to achieve the uh, effect you want. So you can, you can cache it and then flip it and it will go backward. So the particle will fly back to the emitter, for example. And so you, you evaluate every frame or you can do point 0.1 frame and in this way it will take much longer to calculate but you will have uh, 10 times, but it will calculate 10 times per frame. That means it will scale, it will, uh, your simulation will go smoother and save every evaluation. You can calculate every, ten, every tenth of a frame and then save every one evaluation because 
you basically you need one evaluation per frame. So, or if you want to slow it down, so you go 0.1 and then save every 0.1 evaluation. Oh, it doesn't. I guess it goes. You can do it the other way. So if you go faster, if you go one of your cache go faster, you say save every second evaluation, and then it will go twice as fast. Doesn't matter right now. Okay. Now shading. Uh, we have color here. So you see the color that by default they have this color. Let me disable, let me throw out the second particles and second emitter. Okay. So by default we have this color. Let me make it self collide again. This is our color. We can change it like we did yesterday with the ramp. That's our ramp here. Purple, pink. You can randomize a bit. Incandescence, we can make them glow. We can make, so when we render them, see they kind of glow a bit. If we disable incandescence, just give it black. That's the difference. You can randomize that too. PP attributes, like we can also see that it already has in here. We had we had to uh, plug in some ramp yesterday, so this this end particle already by by default has the Radius PP, Opacity PP, RGB PP, it has already ramps plugged in. So, so we have our color, we have our opacity scale, that's a ramp also. You see it scales, you see they, they become transparent as they die. We can do normalized age so we see it better. And if we render it now, that's what's going on. So we have it already built in, very nice. And what else? We have color, opacity, and the scale as well. We saw that too. Um, and as well, you can you can do you can randomize. You can delete those ramps and put you know uh, put your expressions or put your own ramps. You can add dynamic dynamic attributes as well as we did yesterday. General and you go particle and you got all the scale goal, blah blah blah. Go. Yeah, goal is, uh, yeah, I forgot to show you yesterday. Goal is, is what, you can make them cool effects, like make particles attracted to objects. Like this one, and then select it as make it goal, select the particle, and then just like, it's the same menu, same thing, goal, make it goal. Make the object goal for the particles, and then, wait. Where is our goal? Select object, select particles, and then end particles. Let's single weight. Okay, create. Okay, let's see. All right. Here, they all jump on that ball, and then we have can go and select that particle and go to... Uh, you have the, all these goal weights. You have this menu, goal weights and object. So goal smoothness will make it 0.5, for example. Or let's make it 10. Yeah. Now it's much smoother. See what's going on? The, the sphere attracts the particles right now. That's a whole, I mean, that's, that's another, you know, few hours of explanation, so I'll just, just play with that. <laughs> and you can, make, you can make multiple goals as well. So it'll be in between, you know, you can, and then, then you can animate the smoothness and, and attraction. They have all these PP attributes, per particle attributes, so 
just for you to know that it's it's there whenever you need it. 